Hello, and welcome to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. If this is your first time, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified the minute I have up new tutorials. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make the iron-on transfer canvas boards for paint and sip, par sip parties. I um, saw a lot of interest in making the paint and sip boards but they were using um, vinyl and having to weed the vinyl for each of the canvases. This is the no weed canvas w using the iron on transfers. You can make a whole bunch of these because they only take 30 seconds each to make um, once they're printed, once the transfers are printed out. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the canvas, the paint and sip canvases using iron-on transfers instead of vinyl. I prefer the one for dark colors because it's easier to do. Um, but this, so I just took my images that I wanted to use. I opened them and this is, I'm using an iPad Pro 12.9 and this is pages, but you can do this in Word if you're using um, a Windows computer. And all I did was take my image to the edge because my canvases are eight by 10. So I wanted the images to be eight by 10. So all I did was take my um, image that I wanted to the edge and I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't go beyond the eight inch line. And when I saw that, of course, it's stopping at about seven, a little under seven and a half, that'll be perfect. So I just position this in the middle of the page so that I know when I take it to Cricut to cut my eight by 10 shape out, it will be perfect. Did the same thing with this one, and now we're ready to print those parameters. So now this is the image we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that because all I need to do is make my eight by 10 rectangle. So I'm gonna choose shape, choose a square, I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna to go to action to edit width. I'm gonna make it eight and height. I'm gonna make it 10. And we're all set to go. At this point, you're just going to choose make it. I'm going to be doing this on the mat. And now you're just going to position your iron on transfer that you've already printed your image on. You're just going to position it on your board and cut it out using your Cricut. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the rest of the process. First, we need to cut out our image. So I'm just going to, on my Cricut design space, I'm going to hit next. I'm going to choose flat card board, just because uh, that one seems to cut cardstock and more thick, the thicker um, papers that I use on the maker. And I'm just adding a little more pressure by choosing more pressure. And then I'm just gonna feed this in and cut it out. My mat looks terrible, but I was cutting black paper cardstock making hats. So some of it stuck to my board, to my uh, mat here. And I already have my Cricut Easy Press heated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. That will be fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and press go so it will cut my image to 8 by 10 so it'll fit perfectly on my canvas board and with the canvas boards once you uh, iron on the transfer it still has the texture of the canvas board and it paints just like a regular canvas all right it's finished cutting so I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the extra edge get my transfer and what I also like about the AB transfers they have the backing already uh, split apart because I don't have much nail so it makes it easy for me to get the backing off so I'm gonna move this out the way for now and as you can see it already pulled off two of the strips so this one you're going to peel off the backing and you do not you do not mirror these images when you print them on your printer. You don't want um, to mirror them 
you can mirror them if you have an image that doesn't have words but I recommend that you just uh, leave it exactly as it is because this one just peels off the paper and you lay it on the canvas so I'm just trying to get it centered on there so that it'll fit perfectly I need to pull it over a little bit try that again move it so you can see it so I'm just lining this up with my canvas on all edges or trying to now for this one you're gonna cover it with a sheet of paper that comes with it it comes with a sheet of parchment paper in the package with the iron-on transfers for dark colors I like the Avery Avery brand but there are a lot of different brands you could use and now I'm just going to take my heat press press it on and I'm just going to go back and forth over the canvas applying a little pressure you don't even have to apply a lot of pressure I'm just going to do it a few times make sure I'm hitting all the edges to make sure that this is adhered to the canvas well so I'm just going around for about 30 seconds you could do it in less time and then I'll check it make sure the edges are adhered now I take that off peel this off and I'm going to this gets very hot so don't handle it too much but I just want to see make sure that the edges are adhered and I just run around all the edges to make sure they're adhered and just like that you have your canvas board for your paint and sip party no weeding, perfect image. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell if you'd like to be notified the minute I have up new tutorials. I currently have over a hundred tutorials on uh, making different party supplies, decorations, uh, posters, banners. So check out some of my other tutorials, but I'll see you next time.